Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm just going to talk about Connor's book and toy habits. He's 19 months old now. I'm just going to run through what he likes to read and play with because I get a lot of questions regarding his talking and just his interests in general. So we're going to start off with his favorite book types because he has shown an interest in books since he was really little, like from six months old. Um, we started showing him well, earlier than six months old, but around six months was when he started showing an interest in it. So we started showing him lots of spot books and color books and that kind of thing. And it's just progressed from there. The big car. Where's the little car? Good. There it is. I'm going to big car. Big car. Elephant on the big car. So some of my favorite authors, because I get a lot of questions about this on Insta, is the Osborne book. So this type of book is just super engaging. They're really clever with how they make their books. Um, I found that I can buy Connor books from um, this brand and a lot of other brands that they're probably a bit too advanced for him when I buy them, but he's able to look at certain things that he's up to for that level, um, which is awesome because he grows into the books and they last forever. So yeah, this brand is one of our favorites. Um, also the spot books. I think every kid loves the Eric Hill books. Um, then when he was younger, especially the pretty books, that brand. Um, was one of his favorites so we have quite a few of them and another brand he loves are alpha prints I don't know if I've got any here I don't have any here but they're also some of his favorites so um, I guess even from when they're little to definitely now Connor's 19 months old I still only buy hardcover books because it's really annoying when they like squash the pages um, and definitely focus on themes that they love. So Connor's naturally shown an interest in trucks and cars and farm animals and typical baby things um, from a young age. So all of the books that I generally buy for him are based around one of those interests because I found um, that if he's already interested in something, he's more likely to pick up a book and stay interested in it. Um, and also picking books that are really interactive or fidgety or even just if they have like a 3D texture um, that's different on each page. I find they are the most engaging um, because I get a lot of people saying that their kids don't um, stay engaged with the books for very long. And that's something that I've found is really, really helpful. But another thing that I love in terms of books are flashcards. Connor seems to memorize books so he knows what's coming up on the next page before I even turned it. So I really like flashcards because you can't necessarily memorize the order that it's going to come in. And he likes to just pick them up by himself and play with them like it's a little version of a book or we can um, go through them together. So yeah, I think it's another important thing with reading is to not just put a book in front of your baby. I think from a young age you should really try and engage with them to ask them questions or point things out. and it becomes more of like a teamwork kind of thing and then you'll find they'll start to entertain themselves with the book. And another tip that I have is to always have books really readily available and accessible. So Connor can reach these books, he's been able to reach them for a long time. So we're in the Savo HQ nursery at the moment, but I pretty much have this set up at home in two or three different rooms. So he's always got access to books. So Connor's obsessed with nursery rhymes and in particular the wheels on the bus. So um, this brand of book, Snowzy Co, they make really cool books that are interactive based on nursery rhymes. Well, they've got a, a collection based on nursery rhymes. So it's really good for motor skills too because he plays all the pages or he gets me to play with them and sing the song at the same time. We've ripped some of the stuff, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, these books are awesome, the Nosy Co. And they also do themed books, so he's obsessed with construction sites, so same concepts he can touch and feel. So they're really cool. Also, um, any books with... What 
it doesn't pop. This is the flap. Look at the train. Look at the train. What else is that? A tart and a digger. A digger, look away. What's underneath? Who's that? Hello, lady. Um, this, these kinds of books get a lot of use in our house. Who's in there? Kind of. <laughs> Stretch limo. Can you say stretch limo? Stretch limo. Good boy. Vroom, That's the big bus. Vroom, vroom, vroom. That's the big bus. Vroom, vroom, And these are the Osborne books I was talking about. They, um, like I was saying, they're like. I tend to buy things that are a bit advanced for him so he can grow into them. So when he first got this book, he would just point out um, like the bike, bike, and then the next page would be balloons. But now he points out the colors and counts and identifies a lot more stuff on the page. And I'm sure there's a lot more growing into this book too. And finally, things with sounds are really good for children who don't like books um it's adding another sensory element which i think is pretty easy to get a kid to like so. yeah digger. a blue digger and what's that truck. a little truck what sound does the blue digger make Vroom vroom. Can you find the blue digger over here? Good boy. What's on the next page? Cement truck. Cement truck. Can you find the cement truck over here? Good boy. Um, another reason why I absolutely love books is because um, George and I have chosen not to have Connor in front of screens so no screen time since he's been born um, just because we think that it gives his brain some more time to focus on things he can actually learn from um, at this age I don't believe that they're gaining that much from things on screen just because it moves too quick and they can't focus so books have been our saving grace for entertaining him um, in most instances when people would pull out an iPhone or an iPad and that kind of thing um, and I think the more that Connor has been exposed to books the more that he chooses them over anything so if he obviously is around a screen or whatever he doesn't show any interest in it which is awesome um, but yeah, I think that's helped a lot with his speaking ability. Okay, so part two is some of Connor's favorite toys, which believe it or not, he's actually had most of these for about a year. So from when he's been about seven months old, maybe older, but um, again, same concept that he started off with most of these toys um, liking them for the more simple parts, so for example, the shape organizer, he likes just to touch it, so it was more of a sensory thing. Then, as he got older, he started putting them into the shapes. Now, he counts them and identifies the colors, etc. <laughs> Thank 
Um, so yeah, I really like to buy toys um, that have that growth element. I don't really like to buy too many toys um, and then get rid of them. You'll actually find that they can yeah, grow into a lot of the toys if you just give it to them for a longer period. Um, so basically our days kind of go from waking up, we go to his toy room and he'll play with whatever he feels like playing that day usually includes some sort of musical element so he's obsessed with the doo doo doos he calls it <laughs> um always cars are involved especially with animals um again he can take them in and out so fidgety toys he's obsessed with take them out take them out take them out What sound does horsey make? <coughs> that. What's it called? The sheep. can like start using his imagination with so he really likes um, fidgety toys like that again anything that's a puzzle will keep him entertained for so long especially the peg puzzles because um, they're easy for him to hold this has been his favorite toy I think since his christening his friend bought this for him and it's one of his favorites um, and this bad boy here it's a, um, it's like a magna doodle and this keeps him entertained for literally ever. Not necessarily even him drawing, he like, likes to use the shapes to draw, but he loves dictating people and telling them what to draw for him. Um, so again, interactive stuff I think with Connor and us or his friends is really important and doesn't just, um, become, I don't know, like, boring for him. I posted heaps about Connor playing with his little fruits and vegetables before. What is this? Berry. A berry. Good boy. What is this? Banana. Good boy. What is this? Lemon. Lemon. Good boy. Cool. Um, this is from the same brand, the Melissa and Doug brand, which I've spoken about heaps on my Instagram because I just love all their stuff. Um, so this is like the next level of fruit and vegetables for him. So he's obsessed with these. They're really cute and like old school. These ones are waffles. What's that? Cheese. I think you have to turn it around, Connor. Have her turn around. Yeah, turn it around and then try again. Do you want some help? Here we go, we'll turn it. Now try. There you go. And going on from the Melissa and Doug brand, they make a, um, What's it called? I don't know what it's called, but it's like a big board of locks, a lock board, um, that I've put on my Instagram before too. Good boy, what's inside? Do you remember how to open it? Froggies. Froggies, but you have to open the door. You have to unlock it. This is like the next level version. It's like a 3D barn that he has to fidget and open. Um, so yeah, th this brand is really cool because they've just got so many different elements to their toys. They've got shapes, colors, 
touching, opening, like it's just all really good. I really recommend the Melissa and Doug brand. You turn the wheel. Keep going. All the way. Good job. And then you open the door. Who's inside? Piggy. Piggy. Did you say good morning, Piggy? Good morning, Piggy. Good boy. Close it. Mama, help you close it. Um, and I kind of just find most of my toys from Amazon, Kmart. Like Kmart's got some really cool toys that are really interactive and cool and really good for imagine imagination play. Um, where else do I buy most of my toys? We get gifted a lot of toys. So when he turned one, he received majority of the toys he saw here. Um, so yeah, I don't really necessarily buy that many myself. But when I do, they're probably my three, three places that I go to. And... Um, the store kids stuff has really cool things like this. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions about anything else with Connor and what we what we do with him on a daily basis, just hit us up below. Um, and just a disclaimer, I am not qualified as a children's teacher or anything like that. This is just what I personally do with Connor. Um, he's always had a really, really keen interest in talking from a young age, but I really think books have helped him a lot and hopefully they can help your children with talking too. See ya.